Hello ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to give you an update on the progress of NoTrack because I've been working on it an awful lot recently. I've just really gotten into doing some programming again and quite enjoying it. No tracking is network-wide blocking of tracking sites predominantly, but you can also block some advertising sites as well. You can set it up on something like a Raspberry Pi and then any device on your network will automatically be protected and will avoid going to some of these awful websites. So yeah, some of the big changes I've done recently have been on the look and feel. I've changed a lot of the color scheme to match more of the background styling. I've changed some of the animations. So yeah, it just looks uh, quite a lot nicer now. I've got rid of a lot of the shadow effects. There are still some left because I don't like an entire flat look. I do like the buttons to look like buttons, but also to be animated when you click them as well. So, you know, I have to say I am quite happy with it now. Also done some changes on the investigate tool, whereas in previous versions it used to go back 24 hours, now we go back 30 days. Much better. I've tried to keep the level of information here fairly simple, but if you think you're missing something you can view the raw log files. Actually that one's a bad example, the BBC is very trimmed, but if we go for, well let's go for something that's blocked. Let's go for um, 207.net. This is one I like to use because it's so simple to type and very memorable. So blocked by no track block list, view the raw data. Yeah, there's a lot more in here. Let's try another one. And because I've never gone to this site, I don't get a graph. Yeah, never gone there, never happened. Let's go across the DNS queries page. I've now condensed a lot of the searching options into like this top menu bar. I've been trying to free up some of the space on the screen and all this is adaptive on the sizing, so if I just reduce it in size a bit, yeah, you can still see that things will fit on the screen. And that even works on mobile phone interface as well. Now, whereas in previous versions you used to have three buttons here for search who is and blocking a site or allowing it if it's actually blocked already. But looking at it now, I've got a lot of these features built into this uh, little pop-up. I will be working on the icons for the search engines. And I've also added this one for virus total, so that gives you an idea of the icon style I'm going for here. So when you hover over the icon, it goes inverted on the colors. So yeah, click on that, go to virus total. You'll be able to click on the search engine of your choice. So you can block it, so adding it to your custom block list. Or if you believe the domain is related to tracking, you can report it to me and I will look at adding it to the main block list for no track. So other users will benefit. If a site is blocked, then you can click on allow and then add it to your whitelist. This is all very good. There is a little something you can do on the time view, and this goes for the older versions of NoTrack as well, in case you're not aware of it. So say if you get a site and you want to see what other pages were loaded around the same time, so you think, oh, why did I go to this? What was I on at that time? So if you click on that there in the time view, Go across to investigate and you can see what associated websites were opened up around the same time. So in this case, I'm going to guess this was related to either Discuss or OMG Ubuntu. And those were the sites open at around that time. Uh, not exactly heavily visited by me in the past 30 days. So yeah, that's been quite a lot of the changes that I've added. No track Live is a feature I talked about last month. So this just shows the DNS lookups as they're happening. So if I go to something like the daily fail, and then look at no track live, you'll see the number of queries suddenly pouring in. Yeah, as it rushes to try and keep on top of things. <laughs> so yeah, I quite enjoyed adding this feature. There may be a bit more I could do here with adding links to that blocking or allowing a website. But yeah, those options always exist back across in the main DNS queries view. So yeah, things are coming along. I need to look at the block list. I believe there are more that can be added. In terms of customization on top level domains, I've added this tabbed view here. That just really helps with the view of this table because it is enormous. And it's, it's been a problem that I've been trying to work out how to contend with for a while. But yeah, I think this tabbed view does sort it out. So yeah, that's been the progress of NoTrack version 0.9.0. .0. This is still in development at the moment, but if you want to take a look at it, please go ahead. There is one more major feature I want to add. So anyone using it at the moment, you may find that um, when I get around to this new feature, which I'm not going to discuss too much because I don't know if it's going to happen or not, 
yeah, this one won't work properly straight away. And before I end this video, I'm gonna mention one thing. Quite a lot of people ask me, how is this better than Piehole? Now, unfortunately, that's something I can't really discuss because it would be very biased of me to say why this is better than Piehole. So if anyone ever fancied doing an impartial comparison, feel free. But that's not something I really want to discuss because I'll be completely biased and say mine is the best. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.